Hey guys, it's Jo and welcome back to my channel. For today's video is just going to be my four year natural hair and how I got to go straight. This isn't as straight as my hair got a week ago because that's when I straightened my hair. Just been getting very puffy, my roots have been reverting but <laughs> it's okay. I filmed the entire process from blow drying to flat ironing my hair. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, before we get into the video I'm going to quickly run through the products and the tools that I used just in case you guys want to do your hair at home because if you know me and you've been with me since the beginning you guys know I'm do it yourself I do not like going to salons I haven't been in a salon in about maybe three years so um yeah let's just get into the video because it might end up being long and I don't want it to be long so starting off with shampoo and conditioner I use the dark and lovely our natural um, moisture replenishing shampoo and the not out conditioner they look like this so dark and lovely sent me the entire brand which i'm very very grateful for so thank you again for that and i might say these two products together cleaned my hair completely got rid of all product to build up left my hair shiny soft smooth tango free and just feeling amazing i'm going to do a review on the entire line once i go back to being a curly girl because i also want to try out the butters but um yes the shampoo is sulfate and when you're going straight you want to get rid of all build up all product build up in your hair. make sure your hair is super super squeaky clean for that step three like is usually like a protein treatment so that there's enough protein in your hair so that the heat attacks the protein first but your girl was being lazy so i used mosara kenyan's deep treatment mask uh, with coconut oil castor oil avocado oil and shea butter i know i should have gotten a protein mask but uh, I was too lazy, I was too busy, so going into town to buy the product was just a hassle and I was just like, you know what, let's just do this. Like, what's the worst can happen? Um, heat damage, but uh, I don't think I might get heat damage because my hair has already started reverting. But yeah, we'll just see when I wash my hair, maybe next week because my scalp is very itchy and I am i don't know how to deal with straight hair. <laughs> so yeah. Then the last step is moisturizing your hair. So I used Sari Organics 3-in-1 Hair and Scalp Treatment Leave-In Conditioner. And I added some Mizizi Crude Avocado Oil. This two together left my hair very moisturized, very easy to manage, and very easy to detangle and stuff. Because you need to add moisture back into your hair after you wash it and if you're going to straighten your hair or add any heat to it. So yeah, after that, I just put my hair up in twists, detangled, and let me see, I experienced a lot of of shedding why i am not too sure i'm still trying to figure that out maybe it's because i've been super super active i've been up and down a lot plus i didn't use combs for about six months so maybe there's a bit of shed hair stuck inside there but that's it my blow dryer i just used a generic blow dryer i bought online and i used it on high speed medium heat setting and it got my hair straight properly although you will see that my ends are very my ends were bad so they needed to go so they didn't straighten capsa but that was okay because you need to get your hair as straight as you can during the blow dry session to make the straightening session very fast so we're to a point where you need to use one pass so i used the the the, the concentrator attachment with a comb and a brush but you will see that in the video so yeah it's just a generic um blow dry that i bought online then last but not least was the flat iron again it's just a very generic flat iron i bought and i made sure i got done with the heat setting so i put the heat setting to 210 degrees celsius our hair burns at around to 450 degrees fahrenheit which is around 240 degrees if i'm not wrong or something somewhere like that so i straightened my hair at between 205 and 210 degrees celsius and i only used one pass so i used the chase method that's when i used a comb and then i chased it to the flat iron and it got my hair straight you will see in the video my hair was straight but the thing is that only lasted about a few hours once i got outside to the humidity we all know and love my ends started poofing up which is okay so this is um week we're entering week two 
but my hair is still feeling nice so the next video i'm going to do is going to be like a recap of my four years of being natural and a length check video like but so far you'll see that my hair is about here armpit length or it's like about an inch or two inches away like about an inch above of my nipple because i had to cut about this much of my ends because my ends have been very bad like the last month my ends have just been neglected but that's okay my hair is feeling nice it got very straight but i have very thick strands and i have a lot of hair so it got very it got straight but it didn't last long but it's okay i'm loving the results you guys let me know what you think of my results and if you plan to straighten your hair will you do it yourself or will you have somebody else do it for you so um just let me know hey guys it's joe so starting off i'm just going to spray this section with my ors heat protectant sorry i did not show it in the beginning i totally forgot so i'm just going to smooth that into my hair and then grab my comb and detangle as well as make sure every single strand is coated with the heat protectant this was a key this is key when adding heat to your hair always use a heat protectant so that's tip number one i'm going to be throwing about random tips as we go on for you guys to use when you decide to either blow dry or straighten your hair as well so i am going to make sure it's i'm going to uh separate that section into another smaller section so that's tip number two work in small sections this makes sure that your hair is manageable while you're working and it also ensures that that section either gets dry quickly and also straightens quickly so that you know you don't have to repeat yourself or stay there for a while so i'm going to use the tension method this is basically holding your hair and stretching out with your hands completely until as far as it can go and then just using your blow dry to dry it when it, it's that when you've hold it tight and stretched out completely i hope that makes sense and tip number four uh blow dry your hair coming downwards like make sure the air from the dryer is coming down along your strands because this allows for your cuticles to be closed which also ensures that your hair is shiny at the end of the day as you can see as you will see like throughout this entire process my hair just keeps getting shiny which was really really nice and it's just making sure that whatever you're doing like do it in a downward motion because this closes your cuticles also if you can do your hair in a cool or a cold room that also helps to cool down your hair immediately after the heat touches it which makes sure your cuticles are sealed completely my sitting room is very cold so this actually worked to my benefit for now so i'm just going to keep doing that and just be as patient as possible take your time like don't be in a hurry when doing this thing because when you're patient it comes out even better And when I feel that my hair is stretched enough with the tension method, I'll just grab my comb and just comb through and make sure that that section is dry and straight. As you can see, holding this blow dry and the comb was such a hassle, but at the end of the day, it worked out. And then I'm also going to switch to a brush along, just, you know, mix it, it make sure that my hair is completely stretched, straight and dry. Tip number five, make sure your hair gets as straight as possible during the blow dry session because that helps tremendously while you straighten your hair because you only need to do one a maximum of two passes so i'm just going to do this throughout my entire head and uh here and there i will twist my hair just to keep it out of the way for a bit but at the end of the day like my hair was just all over the place so i just let it be and do whatever it wants
At the end of it all, I just took my brush again and went through my hair, making sure it's completely dry from the roots. Because e, if your hair is not dry and you put a flat iron, your hair is going to burn and it's not going to be nice. It's not going to be cute. So yes, yeah, so I just went through and again, my hair was already cooling. So you can see it's, it's getting shiny. It's getting there. You can leave your hair at this stage with a blowout and just trim your ends. But for me, I just wanted to go all the way straight. So as you can see, I've already done the back. My hair is already straight, looking shiny, looking nice. So I'm just going to repeat the same process of sectioning my hair and then adding heat protectant. Like, wow, I overdosed on this thing, but hey, heat damage is real. So for flat ironing, I used my iron at around 206 to 210 degrees. And then I used small sections, about... I don't even know how small it was, but as you can see, you can see through that section and that's what you want because this allows the hair to be straightened with just one pass. And I'm going to use the chase method. That's why I put the comb before the flat iron. I bump my roots about three times and then slowly go down that strand, that section. If you see any smoke, it's not my hair burning. It's a heat protectant causing steam because hey, if my hair was burning, bro, I would have stopped this process real quick. And as you can see, with one pass, it is straight, it is shiny. And then I'm going to trim my ends. I trimmed about an inch, half an inch. I don't know. I was just trimming where I felt that, oh, these ends are looking bad. And I'm just going to do that all over throughout my head. Again, small sections and being very patient with the process and... I loved the results. Sorry, I did not um, show like a proper final clip of me with straight hair immediately as soon as I'd done it. I had to go to work, so I just had to do it quickly, you know. But as long as you guys see the process and see how it is, I am very good with that. And then tip number seven, this is very, very important. If you know your hair is already damaged prior to you wanting to straighten it, please do not ha add heat onto your hair because this is just going to instantly cause heat damage. Your hair needs to be strong enough and healthy enough to withstand this heat process because this is basically temporarily changing the structure of your hair. You know, removing the curls and the coils and making them straight for a while so if your curls and coils are already not doing well then adding heat is just going to be detrimental and you're either going to go through a long process of going back to healthy hair or having to do a big chop if the heat damage is severe so just look out for that don't just do straighten or blow dry your hair because you know you just want to do it or you know just because it's a trend or wherever it is healthy hair fast if my hair wasn't healthy hey <laughs> I would not have used heat, but I have taken care of my hair for the past six months and I'm happy with how my hair has been looking. And excuse my scissors, I couldn't find the shears. But tip number eight, make sure your scissors are sharp. Don't use just any house scissors or scissors that are lying around. These scissors are pretty sharp and you just one snip, that section comes out properly. Because if you trim your hair and the scissors are not sharp, you'll have ragged ends and that's not good. So yeah, I'm just going to... Go through this section, you know, just small sections, chase method. When you start with a new section, add heat protectant and then just go on. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're planning to straighten your hair, do let me know. And also, you know, tag me in your pictures so that I can see them. So yeah, till my next video. Bye, babes.
final results. I don't know how to behave with straight hair. I haven't been this straight since maybe 2013, but yeah, I had to trim about an inch, an inch and a half, but I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the description bar. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, babes.